In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect an Android smartphone to a Kenwood receiver that features HDMI input using Kenwood smartphone control. The first thing you're going to do is connect your Android phone to the KCA MH100. In the case of the Galaxy and the Note, you're going to need the 5 to 11 tip adapter. Once the phone is connected to the MHL, the first thing you're going to do is go into settings and pair the phone to Bluetooth. As you can see, it lists the Kenwood receiver. I will select on it. I will get a pair request on both the receiver and on the phone. The phone will connect. It will ask you if you want to download the phone book. Click do not ask again and click yes. Once the phone is connected to Bluetooth, place the Kenwood receiver into standby. Go to menu and then setup. Go to system and then app setup. Under app setup, go to the connection setup and you will see it will list the default settings, which is for an iPhone or iPod using USB with AV in. You're going to press change and select Android as the phone type. Go to next and then you get two options for connection, Bluetooth or HDMI MHL with Bluetooth, which is the connection setting you want. So you select HDMI MHL with Bluetooth, hit next. Then it takes you to your paired device list. If you haven't already paired your phone, you can do it from here, but if you've already pre-paired the phone, it will list the phone name. Select it, go to next, and it will give you a confirmation screen. You have your device type as Android, you have your connection type as HDMI with Bluetooth, and you have your device name as your phone's name. Select done, and then return to the home screen. Now from here, you want to open the Kenwood Smartphone Control application, which you need to download from the Android Marketplace. It is free, but is required and needs to be open and running in the background. Then select Apps. You will get an, a caution screen that you need to agree to. And then it will say connecting to the head unit. Please wait. Once the connection is established, it will give you another caution screen that this feature is not available while driving. Press I agree. And then from there, you can operate it from the Kenwood's touchscreen. And as you can see, it populates the phone's hard keys as soft keys on the menu so that you can access everything from the phone on the Kenwood screen. You have your home key, your menu key, and your back arrow. And that is Kenwood Smartphone Control for Android.